Hey, I'm back with a redo of a past video I did because there was an error in it. And the topic is this. If you take a vitamin B6 in the wrong form, the wrong type, it has the potential to cause vitamin B6 deficiency symptoms. So vitamin B6 is supposed to prevent these, but taking the wrong form can actually cause these symptoms. So what is the wrong form? Well, pyridoxine, hydrochloride, okay? Now, in the past video, I left out this part right here. If you're taking pyridoxine from a natural source, let's say it's from a food source or nutritional yeast that's not fortified with some other synthetic vitamin, this is a natural source. So really has everything to do with the source because this version comes from petroleum esters, hydrochloric acid, and formaldehyde. Okay, so you want to avoid that. So this is a no, but these are a yes, depending on if the source of this is from a natural source. You also have a few others, pyridoxal phosphate and pyridoxal 5-phosphate. These are all good as well. And it's not even necessarily the amounts of this that you take, it's the type of B6. Taking the wrong type can set you up for a deficiency of the actual thing you're trying to correct. Normally, B6 helps you control cortisol. That's why it helps reduce stress. Also, vitamin B6 helps make serotonin, the hormone that gives you a sense of well-being. It's an anti-depression, anti-anxiety hormone. Also, B6 is involved in turning amino acids into glucose through this process called gluconeogenesis, making new sugars out of non-carbohydrate sources. So if you can't do that, then you're going to constantly have a blood sugar issue, and that can create these symptoms just from that alone. So how do you become deficient in B6? By taking the wrong source, synthetic version. Drinking alcohol can create a B6 deficiency. Stress can do it. Having inflammation birth control pills, having malabsorption, there's a gut issue, you can't absorb it, and certain genetic problems like what's called polymorphism, where you have this defect in your gene that won't allow you to absorb it, that could be another factor. All right, thanks for watching. Before you go, if you have a question about a product or you're new to keto and you want to know how to begin keto, or you're on keto and you need a debug because it's not going as smooth, I have a keto consultant standing by to help you. This is just for the people in the U.S. Hopefully in the future we'll be able to answer everyone's call. But I put the number down below so you can call and get some help.